Hello everybody, Anthony here. In this video, I will explain how I pose the character to fit into a model I created before inside 3D code. And I have a separate video about that. You should just click on the link up top. I use some ready to go assets, clothing from the art station marketplace that only costs a few dollars. Just drag and drop it and pose the character and you're ready to go. So let's get started and do step by step. So I logged in into Marvelous and then it creates the settings for the new projects. I go for centimeters uh, and my controls for the viewport. Now I have MD opened and I will go into the avatar tab and go into male, female, up to you. I go to the male guy and just drag and drop him inside the scene. Then I want to input a prop. So essentially my drone and I will go input OBJ, go, you know, find one of them. And that is probably this one, uh, drone delivery, hit OK. And then we have these options here. So you want to click on the object type and hit on, you know, not avatar, but say scenes and props, which is really important. Otherwise, you can actually hang up your uh, MD uh, file. The scale is also really important. I will go for centimeters. That should be all right. And everything else should be fine. So I can align bottom to the ground, which is helpful. Click OK, and that will appear here. So my scale is actually pretty good. I just need to pick the object and place it down, and I'll move the gizmo down so around there. And I'll just change the color of the object. Object. I click on it, go into color, and make it just a bit darker, really. So the next part is posing. So I want to click on the character and press Shift X. So this is the hotkey to go into the, like, say, X-ray mode. And then I just can pick up the bones around here and move stuff around. So I want to go to the root, it's somewhere here, and then I want to move it down. Okay, I click again on the root and push it down, uh, maybe rotate it, and then I'll pick up you know, a leg, and push it up, and I'll rotate it. So, and then I'll you know, spend a few minutes doing that, and we will get our pose. After posing, I press Shift X, and I can see it again. I mean, during the posing, I will also press Shift X, Shift X, just to see how it's going. So now we have you know, characters sitting there, and what we need to do is we need to save the pose. So I'll click on the guy, go, uh, save, save as, save as just a pose, and I'll just say the test, and we save it. Afterwards, I just want to delete this prop, I no longer need it. I click on the character, right click on it, and I will say reset joint. So now we have a standing character, and then now I want to input the clothing. Uh, so here I have a collection of a clothing, which are both like four dollars. I just uh, click and drag it across to, to the my my, my designer, and I'll go say add. I don't want to go open. It's really important. Go add. Say okay. I will also want to press yes here to match the pose to the clothing, and there we go. We got the pants. So now I want to bring the hoodie. Uh, same impression. Just drag and drop it. I don't want to save, I want to add, click OK, and I also want to match to the hoodie, the pose. It will move the joints sometimes up and down. In this case, it didn't really move anything, but it can. So now if I press spacebar, it will start to simulate clothing and try to fit it to the character. So we have a little bit of intersection with the pants. Uh, it will sometimes it will get resolved by itself sometimes it won't uh, if it doesn't want to resolve by itself we just want to kind of play around and tweak it uh to to kind of unstick it from the pants and i press space bar again to stop simulation uh, for my purpose is good enough so i will then go and load the pose so open pose and we'll go for test and hit ok so now it will try to start to simulate everything. And sometimes during the simulation, it will also unstick the clothing. Or if you're crossing your legs and arms too much, it will actually sometimes stick it together and you will get some problems. In this case, my pose was pretty sparse out, so nothing really happened. It was a good sim. So the simulation is done in just like a minute or less. And I will then I just want to export this as an OBJ, everything that I see. Again, I'll do like a test tool, save it. And here I will want to weld everything. It's up to you if you want to weld um, geometry or not. I want to weld it. And I want to make sure that my dimension is set to meters, the scale, because I'm inputting it to Blender. If I don't do that, the, the, the figure will be huge. So I'll just let's click OK. I only change two parameters here. So I'll just go say input, input, 
OPJ, and there we go, we have a test, 67 megabytes, pretty heavy, but again, for me, it's completely fine, and now I have my guy right here. So if I go into the textured mode, I'll see that I have a whole bunch of textures, which I, I usually just remove them, I, I go into the material properties, and I just go and just click all that stuff out. Maybe there's a quicker way to remove materials, but I actually don't know how to do it quicker. So I will just click the minus and remove all of them at once. And there we go. And then I will try to fit the helmet in. So pressing G and X to move it in place. You can see the haircut is a little bit too big, I think. So I will pick the guy, press the slash key on the keyboard and isolate it plus tab. Let me just go and double click on the haircut and just press delete and delete everything. Press tab, go out, slash key, and now we go. We got the helmet in and I've got pretty much the default lighting on and this is how I did the screenshots. So here we go, uh, a really easy setup without, uh, that doesn't require almost any Marvel's designer knowledge. You can use the ready-to-go assets and create stuff to populate your scene.